Welcome back. I'm just doing this, well, just for me. Here it is, the 10th anniversary of Forge of Empires. As you can see, the event is almost over. Four hours, 19 minutes, and 48 seconds, 47. It's taken down. It's late. I have 10.1 thousand paper money. Forge money, I guess you will. FOE money. Now, I've been... The reason I have so much is I haven't been doing anything with it. I just do the event, do the quest, and boom. Then I collect it, pick it up around my city in the gift box and everything. Let's see if there's any here real quick. There'll be little gift boxes look like presents around the city. Occasionally, I'm sort of sure most of you know that already. If not all of you. But anyway, it's kind of late in the game for anyone to watch this for tips. I don't have any tips except, hey, let's just see what I can do. I haven't done, let's see. I have the Golden Ore, or however, you, however they want to say it. And then I have two upgrades. It looks like a pretty decent building. I don't always do the buildings. Level 10 maxed out. 10 forge points in a day. And the footprint is only four by five. That's pretty small to do so much. Then you get 10 goods in a day. And 18% defense for attacking army, not for defending army, for attacking. So, I mean, that's still pretty good. Then a random production, you know, none of that special. The one-up stuff helps out occasionally, but, you know, whatever. And it's still pretty good all in all in my eyes for an event building this is pretty good one of the better ones they've come up with lately if you look at my city you see i don't have the ferris wheel or the winter bakery or the airship i have a few of the older ones that i did when i was still fairly new but you know like the pirate ship here and even it's kind of big for you know only six forge points but I don't do most of them, but now we got this little game here we got to play, and I've saved every paper money. I have not started this. I have absolutely no clue how to do this, except I've looked at it and it said roll the dice. I haven't watched any videos to see any tips or secrets on it. So, well, by the time anybody watches this, it'll be pretty much too late for tips and secrets anyway. So... You know what? Y'all just get to watch me figure it out by myself and just see if I do worth a toot. Let's see. Welcome to the Forge Board game. Roll a dice and move around the board and gain progress towards the grand prize. The grand prize being up here. I guess I get 32 somethings, maybe the treasure chest. And then I make it to the end and I get whatever's here. The rogue hideout. I guess the first one's there, actually. And then the next one will be the Rogue Hideout. And then I'll get another upgrade. Rogue Hideouts do me absolutely no good. Some people like them. I love Rogues. They're free if you play GE or GBG. Or you just pick them up random places. I mean, they're free. And as long as you're decent at battles, you don't lose them. Very often, anyway. Okay, let's get on with this and see how to play. Roll, Click to roll the dice between 1 and 6 and move around the board. Okay, simple enough. Similar to another game we all know. Well, I mean, that's actually pretty good. Magnum Opus. I may go kind of quick. Start a new age with each board loop. You complete. Continue to roll the dice and travel through the ages of Forge. So I'll be ahead of myself in no time because I'm camped in... Contemporary. Let's see. I'll go kind of slow, but not too slow. Yay, 100 paper for money. That means I can roll the dice. That was a free roll here. Okay, let's see. I get six. Yay, two times trash. I don't know, I'd never see them in anybody's deck or military. Who uses them, really? 
22. Okay, so whatever you roll on the dice is, appears to be what numbers added up here. So if you roll a bunch of sixes, you're going to do phenomenal on this game. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Click to choose a desired roll and land where you want. You know what? I'm just doing it the plain old way. There's probably some tip to that, some trick I could have. Sinatra. Is that Frank Sinatra? He's dressed in the style with a hat tilted side. Well, I don't remember Frank ever being that way in any pictures, but, you know, not like I was around Frank much. So. Five. Uh oh. I'm passing go. I don't even use them, really. I do in my defending, I think, occasionally. Yeah, I got the upgrade. Okay, so, yep, the rogue hideout is the next. That's what it is. The, how many forge points? 50? 40? What? It's always 50. What are y'all doing? Come on, FOE. Balloon side, I'll never use that. I'm not even sure what it does anymore. I used to know. I think I've used it before. Two. Twos are terrible. Terrible twos. That's what they say to parents, which, you know, I don't have terrible twos with my kids. I got pretty lucky, I think. Actually, there's no thinking. I, I was phenomenally lucky with my kids. You've collected this reward. The one golden dice was added to your stock. Okay, so is that why the six? Oh, I got seven of them? I don't know where I got the other six. I know where I just got one there, but did I get some for pass and go or something? I got them from somewhere. Whatever. They're here. And that's all that counts. So I guess I can roll it seven times. Yay, coins, you know, because I need them. 433,000. Let's see if I can move this window. No, nope, it's not like, man, yeah. I got a bunch already. You know what? I'm going to show you just because 2.1 gazillion. That's pretty good. When you get to the upper ages now, you will need them. If you're a camper like me, you'll never run out. You don't need to be in the upper ages to play the game and enjoy it. Forge points is what I love as rewards. Yay, trash. Some people use them and love them. My military is set up different than most the average players. I'm the player that never built the Alcatraz, and I, here I am in contemporary age. Yay, 20 forge points. I love that. I just won 200 from spoils of war or diplomatic whatever. I don't even know. All I know is I won 200, put them on my arc. I'm moving my arc from level 114 to 115, so... It takes quite a much. Yay. That's not exciting at all. That was a sarcastic yay. Come on. I clicked. Sometimes it makes me click okay. Other times I can just click wherever. I prefer to click wherever. Of course, none of us were around when she was, were we? Nefertiti. Yay, trash. I'm much more interested in the upgrade. I even trade that 40 points for an upgrade. Yay, trash. I'll say I'll go kind of fast. Who knows? Come on, click. Come on, we got to go, 28. Still trash, even though it's more trash. I mean, I'll spend them one day. One day I'll move up. I've been in contemporary age for a number of months now. I could zip through it in five minutes if I wanted, but I'm a camper. I take the ages slow. The first number of ages I did not. I was like, ooh, look how easy it is to excel through the game. Yeah, what I didn't know is, you excel too quick and you'll be up there with the big boys and you won't know what the hell you're doing. Which makes it real easy for the big boys and girls to stomp the junk out of you and plunder your city and there is 
absolutely nothing you can do except sit there and whine. I mean, it's like, what the heck? I can't stop y'all. Why am I in the same age as y'all? Well, because you went quick and you ran into campers like me. A lot of people don't even worry about plundering and stuff. They just attack you just because they need to. I say need to because their castle and their space carrier require them to do certain things. Come on, I'm clicking. Yay, upgrade. I didn't even notice how pass go again. The castle requires you to attack and attack people. You don't have to plunder, but, you know, while you're there, if somebody's got something good, what is this? You have collected this reward. This building has been placed in your inventory. Happiness, one by one, is always the prime size for stuff. Why? Because it doesn't take up much room. 368 is not very high, but for something so small, it's really good. Hold this for when you have a quest that says gain 3,000 happiness. This comes in handy. You build it. It takes seconds to build and your city gains happiness. Then you delete it or sell it and build something else. That's how you gain happiness. You just keep doing that over and over till your happiness is up to what it needs to be. I haven't gotten any more gold coins. That does me no good. In my other city, it does good because I'm on there so rarely that people just don't motivate me. I give my forge points away there. But I haven't gotten any more gold dice. So I don't know where they came from. One came from somewhere on here. I hope somebody was watching so. Probably a treasure chest. I see some chests are a little different. So. Oh. At least this one's pretty easy. That's, in my opinion, this is useless. I could probably build a level 300 observatory and it's useless to me. Lots of people love it. It produces goods for your guild. My art produces way more goods for the guild. Now, the observatory does something that art doesn't. It gives you defense and attack, if I'm not mistaken, for GVG, not GBG, not, not guild battleground, but guild versus guild. We don't, my guild doesn't really do that, and I have no interest in doing it. So, why even build it? The best thing about it is a function we don't use. Anyone in the guild, your arc is the way to go. The arc is the absolute best. One level of it will produce more than 10 levels of goods for the observatory. I mean, it's just math, mathematics. Okay, anyway, I get sidetracked a lot in my little simple videos. 15 goods is always nice. But like I was saying, some of these quests or these uh, event things like this, the games they have you do, they are hard to zip by. Mighty Maypole. I don't know. I've seen a Mighty Maypole. Uh, it produces 1,210 happiness. Three by two. Again, something... I'll keep around and build when I need some happiness or either sell in the auction house. Who knows? I sell a lot of that trash in the auction house. Someone out there will bid on it. I'll get my tavern silver or whatever and be done with it. Yay, one. Well, I mean, that was worth it. 25 forge points. Can't go wrong there. Clickety click. Okay, fine. I'll hit okay. Like I said, sometimes it wants you to. Did I finish my sentence? Sometimes these event things like this, you can't go quick. The football one, it takes forever. If you wait till the last minute, like I have the last few hours to do the event, then you will take forever doing this. This seems like it's going to go pretty quick. 15, 20 minutes, I'll be done spending my 10.1,000. 30 previous air goods. That's nice because I'm... And 40 forge points. I'm uh, past good. I got excited there.
Fragments of Trash. Lower Age, Shrine of Inspiration is the way to go. I have prints out the yin-yang for almost every building I have. I think the lowest one is my FOD, which I have 19 of one print. Everything else I have, like, can do 40 more levels. But one, I can only do 19. I just looked at it. I was talking to a friend about it. Oh, whew. sorry, I can't get comfortable. I'm sitting here waiting on it to do something. I guess I got to click first on it. Now, I had two upgrades already. How many do I need? It starts you at level one, so you need nine upgrades after that to reach level 10. And I had two, so that's seven. And I don't know how many I've got. We'll see when it's all over. I'm bad about keeping track of stuff. Again, for those that don't know, that haven't watched any, my other couple videos on Forge of Empires, if you happen to think people have to pay to play this game and do decent, you don't. Does it help if you want to move along and have certain benefits as in get things faster, yeah, it helps to pay. If you don't mind spending a few dollars, it helps. There's my upgrade. It helps. You can see over here, my diamond count. That's a decent amount. And I would have more, but I spent a couple hundred a uh, month or so ago. But them diamonds are free as long as you know how to get them. As long as you know how to get them. The seed vault helps, a high-level seed vault. Well, guild treasury goods, yay. My guild can use them because, you know, my, my arc doesn't produce enough at 200 and something of each a day. It really does. I was being sarcastic again. But the seed vault helps. You can pick diamonds up from quests and things, and I just never spend them. I'm in no rush to do anything. So therefore, if you just save diamonds and just enjoy the game and learn the game, you can collect a few diamonds. That way, when you want to spend them, you can. You don't have to. 20 forge points, yay. That is the key to the game, forge points. Not diamonds, not military, not whatever. It's forge points is the key to the game. Once you learn how to control them and bank them, you do excellent. I said in one of my recent videos that my city produces approximately 300 forge points per day. I just, I've been doing, looking at it, watching it lately when I collect since I made that video. I was so incorrect. My city a little bit ago produced over 500 forge points, 540 something like that i don't know now that was with that doesn't count spoils of war diplomatic gifts from my space carrier it counted just what i hit collect on now my blue galaxy did kick in a few times if you are unfamiliar with the blue galaxy you need to familiarize yourself with it i keep saying I'm going to do a video. I keep telling my son I'm going to do a video explaining my thoughts and my opinions on some very important great buildings and maybe I will but not today. I've taken up exercising again and don't get me wrong I'm not out in the gym lifting weights becoming the next big thing. That ain't me. I'm just an old man that's trying to get back in shape i was i had lost close to 50 pounds a couple years ago and then the world started screaming something about pandemic yeah i said it wrong damn because this that's what it was so uh they said pandemic and it slowed down where i went to exercise and then i was just that was a good enough reason for me to be lazy again yay 10 forge points but recently i've decided that i need to get 
back down because since I lost them 50, 55 pounds, I put on 25 of them back on. So I need to lose them 25. I felt a lot better, had a lot more energy. I recommend it to you, any of you that are out of shape, go walking. I don't do much exercise more than walking. Before the pandemic, I was walking approximately, you know, it started a mile or two a day at a local track up by a college here locally. Started a mile or two a day, worked myself up to pretty quickly, I was walking five and six miles a day at the track. I would drop my son off at school, head straight to the track if the weather was nice, and walk five or six miles. And I was loving life. I was feeling so much better. So I highly recommend you do it. It's hard work. Walking does not come easy. And the, remember, the faster you move your legs, the faster you walk. If you're out there walking, even slow is good. But don't walk slow. Don't be that person. Move your legs. It's going to hurt. Yeah, you're going to be tired. It is so worth it. Take it from me. I told my son, he's nine years old. He's a little overweight because, well... If I can't do nothing else, I can cook pretty darn good. I've got years of experience in restaurants, you know, management and cooking. And, well, I like to eat, so I cook. And we cook a lot of home-cooked meals. I used to go out to eat a lot with my wife. She Ex-wife. Ex-wife. Get that straight. She didn't like cooking. And... I'm kind of old fashioned. It was kind of her place. I didn't realize what a big strain it was. Yeah. Say what you want about me. I didn't realize looking back, I didn't realize what a big strain it was for her to cook because, well, just because it, it took a lot out of her. Just even if she was off work being home, it took a lot out of her. And I'm sorry for that. I wish I would have seen it sooner, but Oh you know, Say la vie. It is what it is. But anyway, we like to eat. I feel like this is a get to know me session instead of a watch the game session. I hope y'all are paying attention because I'm not. I'm just clicking and talking. I don't even know what this is. Another thing that I'll keep around for happiness when I need it. I'll probably forget it by then. It'll be the, during the next event is when they like to add happiness. But anyway, we like to eat at home. We cook a lot of meals. My son, my 19 year old. Well, actually, shh. Excuse me, he's not 19. I forget how fast he's growing. 20 years old. And then my nine-year-old is, uh, they both like to eat. My nine, my 20-year-old doesn't live with me. He's, you know, he's a big boy. Doesn't have to live with daddy no more. The nine-year-old does. But uh, we all like to eat. So I cook home-cooked meals. It's better than Burger King or Taco Hell. Although we do like tacos. We cook homemade tacos regularly we eat a lot of deer meat too my 20 year old is a hunter he likes to hunt he likes to fish so we eat we eat some fish but uh we eat a lot of deer and especially today's markets it's 2022 i don't want to be out there buying beef it's expensive i mean it hurts me to walk by the meat counter i'm like what are people thinking paying that much for some thankfully i get the deer either very cheap or free but the point was my nine-year-old is kind of you know he's a chunk monk he's my heart and it's my fault he's kind of chunky so he's decided he wants to get in shape with me and eat a little better so we're eating a couple more salads we just started in the last few days and he wants to go walking with me after school so now i'm gonna start walking in the morning when I can walk how I walk, and then in the afternoon after school, he'll go with me and I'll walk another mile or two. I think today we walked just over two miles. Now, he did back out of the track some, and he sat on some steps that were beside the track, but I say he sat on the steps. He sat there for a minute. I, the steps are visible from the whole track, and there was only about four people out there walking, so I felt pretty comfortable. But he decided to walk up and down the steps because that was the original plan. We were going to go out there and walk up and down the steps 10 or 15 times, but that's what we do. We'll take a couple laps, stop to drink water at the steps and go up and down because that exercises different muscles. 
and it makes your legs burn. You'll feel it. So go out there and get you some exercise, okay, people? Don't be a lazy bum like I was. Don't be a lazy bones. Take your cart back. If you don't know what that's from, that's from Cart Narcs on Facebook. When you go shopping, take your cart back to the buggy return. It drives me crazy. When we go shopping, we actually park near a cart return area and far off from the door because I don't want nobody to bang up my car. So we park far off and walk, but we usually stop and get two or three buggies from around the parking lot that are on the way and push them in with us. Even if we don't need a buggy, we usually take a, bug, a few buggies in just because. It, people are like, they have people to pay to do that. Yeah, you know what? I worked at a grocery store. That was not a job title. Nowadays, they're forced to because people are lazy bones. So stop being lazy bones if that's you. Take your cart back. It's not that far. They have convenient cart returns all over. The local grocery store we go to has 14, we counted them one day, 14 cart returns around their parking lot. It's not even the big busy side of town. And they have 14 cart returns. And there was over 30 carts, 30 buggies, strolling through the parking lot. I was amazed. So don't be that person. Play the game. Get exercise. Live life. Spend time with your family. Eat good. Home cooked meals. Love one another. And exercise. So was that good enough lessons for everybody? I got the party king. You know, that was fitting for me. I don't know. 20... 20... 22, 23 years ago, that was definitely me. I was the party king. I wasn't wearing no hat and blowing no blowers. It wasn't. But, you know, whatever. That's a story I'm not getting into. Okay, 425. I was. I thought that was it. I saw the party king. I was like, oh, game over. I almost closed it out. And I still got these golden dice to roll. We got to see what that's all about, don't we? Anybody keeping track with how many upgrades I got? I won't get the wishing well or whatever this is. Is that what? Is that the wishing well? Yep. Tiny bit of trivia there here. I've never built a wishing well in my city. Not this city. I have one or two in my other city. But, I mean, that's the city I don't use. I built them there just because... You know, the diamonds from other cities will carry over to the same city. So you'll see people in guilds called diamond farmers. I just saw one of my neighbors in my hood. He's a diamond farmer is the guild. Very good chance he's got multiple cities and they'll be set up to where they produce, like have a city full of wishing wells or there's a couple other things that, produce diamonds but they they it's not like they produce them every day it's a chance thing it may be once a week that one of them if you got 20 wishing wells in your city once a week one of them may produce 10 diamonds so you get 10 diamonds and all you got to do is really log in and collect a few things and you get 20 diamonds you ain't got to have all worry about the quest or anything with that you just do what you want in that city, then come back to your main city, like this would be my main city, and this is where you do all your gaming, but the diamonds from the other cities will come right here, and you'll have all your diamonds right here, as long as it's a joint account. Okay, I closed that out so I could say that and show you what I was talking about, the 20 things. Let's see what this golden dice. Click and choose a desired role and land where you want. Well, you know what? I think the smart thing to do would be to figure out where I want to go. I don't want that trash. I guess the highest number is six, right? It says click to choose a desired roll. I'm guessing it's a typical dice. I don't care about the paper money because, I mean, I'm not going to produce, get enough selections to get a bunch of rolls to get all the way up there. It's unlikely. Unless it counts these seven as... But... 
Uh, 40 forge points would be nice, but there's only a 5% chance of that, so that's unlikely. Uh, don't need mass selection. Uh, I'm good on military, so that's not a roll. Don't need any of that. Don't need supplies, definitely. What's this? Daily special boost. Currently active. Provides 5%, plus 5% chance of winning the daily special. I don't even know what the daily special is. Oh, the mass. That ain't. I hit it twice and did not see it. I hit something about that. I didn't. I was talking. Anybody notice I was talking? N never built one of these either. The reason I've not, they have too many little kits. You put this and then you got to put this building beside it, this building beside it to did get it to do certain things and then by the time you do that you've taken up bunches of room and i ain't got time for all that nonsense the room in these cities are very limited goods would be nice but okay well you know what let's go with this one at first so what what three four five right i'm right here that's me yeah you're here one two three four five okay how about i roll a five Yep, I was right. Here's where you choose. So it is a typical dice. Logic. Hey, look, I rolled a five. How odd. Hmm. Ooh, ten forge points. I'll take it. Okay, where do I want to go next? No, 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 no. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to go either of these places. But I'll go six, and maybe I'll get a one-up that's really the best thing in there the one up did I do my math right yeah all right I'm doing pretty good in this third grade math that I helped my son with which is tricky common core is harder than it sounds you think one plus one is easy till you start doing it the common core way then you're like friggin pulling your hair out you're like what the Whoever came up with Common Core needs to be taken out back. What is this? 25 po forge points. What is this Grand Queen thing? I don't even know what a Grand Queen is. Oh, that's... I've never had a Queen in my city either. I know there's the King and Queen thing, so I guess that's upgrades or maybe. Who knows? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's as far as I can go. So I guess I'll choose a six again. Yay, these rolls are doing me a lot of good, aren't they? No. No. My city gets, I mean, half time they don't have stuff to aid. I'll be online and it'll be like, blah, 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 aided you, but there was nothing to aid. Yeah, I know. As you get further along, you will get rid of stuff to aid. And then they'll only have the big stuff that produces forge points for you. And that's nice. That way when they ate it, and if you have good friends, they ate it regularly. I'm a bad friend. Bad friend. I, I apologize, people. I try to, but my phone is broken. It's hard. It's a pain to aid people through the computer. They don't have an aid all button. You got to go through each individual and click it through the city hall. And it's just a big pain. Through the phone, it's tap, 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 tap. You can tap it quick and move on. Not through the, not through the uh, computer, though. So where am I? One, two, three. I want a two. I want a two. Even though there's probably nothing good, I'll probably get a queen selection. What is Facebook going off for? Yay, I got, let's see what it is at least. I've not seen the grand queen. Looks like the same queen, but you just jazzed her up some FOE. Does she do anything fancy? Level two is as high as she goes. Ten goods. Five percent for attacking. Oh, she's part of a Grand Monarch set. So when next to other gr unique Grand Monarch set. So you're going to have a Grand Monarch set. And she's three by three. The king is probably... Th I'm assuming there's a king to go with her. I may be incorrect there. But... She's gonna, he's gonna be three by three. Then there's probably some other stuff to go by. So by the time you got it, I mean, we're looking at a huge piece of land for little reward. Not worth it once you get up in ages. 
in my opinion. If you feel differently, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read someone's input. Okay, I don't want. I don't care about Yuri. I'm jealous. He went to space. I didn't. I want to go to space. Don't need that. Don't need that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's go six and just move on with it. How long was, have I been recording this? I don't didn't even pay attention to time. I started blabbering. I have a bad habit of blabbering. I don't like silence in videos. What did I just win then? One, two, three. Don't need that. Don't need that. So let's go for six. Yeah, let's go for six. Just move me along. I don't really care. That'll get me a little closer back over here to the forge points. Yay, something I'll never use. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, the forge points aren't there no more? Does it change each level? Ah, oh, bummer. Here I am trying to rush around here. I'm like, I'm so close. Some of y'all knew that already. Some of y'all paid attention and said, dude, pfft, whatever, idiot. I guess that's the best thing I have a chance for. Goods. Is one, two, three, four, five, six. I can only go there. I don't need any of that. None. Absolutely, positively none. I got huge military. I don't need that. I never use it. My defense is quite high. My attack is quite high. I'm not saying I can't be beat. I can. I can. Oh my gosh. Some people in my hood will devastate me with no problem. They don't come around that often, but they do because they found a way. I'm not getting into that now. There are ways to get way advanced military, and I'm not there yet. Don't need that because that won't help me. Yeah, none of this is worth a tutti fruity to me. I'm taking the goods. I'm taking the one. I haven't rolled a one. Seems like a waste of a special, doesn't it? Oh, that's guild treasury. That's not even me treasury. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Oh, well, there you go. I'm done. Now let's go see what I got. Let's see if I got it. I am done, right? I can't click it for 25. It's going to be like, bye, spend some money. Nope, not happening. I mean, if you do, if you want this building, spend the money. I mean, do your thing. Don't let anybody criticize you. I see people online on Facebook and stuff being like, that's you pay to play players or pay to, yeah, pay to play players messing it all up. Y'all get so much free stuff. That ain't true. You play free. And you do free things. I mean, that's all it is. What am I trying to do? Don't hate on people that play or pay. I got six upgrades, so that'll get me to level seven. Nope, I'm such a non-counting fool. Six new ones, so I got eight. Plus this one, I'll be to level nine. You know what that's going to mean? I know you're wondering, like, what does that mean? This means you're level nine. But there's only 10 levels. That means that before too long, in the next couple months, I'll find one in here. As you can see, I got stuff ready to close out that I've had up for auction. I do that and wait on the event to say, sell something in here. That way I can always do the maximum, have it for 24 hours. But in the next month or so, like I was saying, to get that number 10 one, I say month, it may be a year. It'll be right here or over here. Say like right here, what is this? The World's Fair? If I didn't have that upgraded to the max, I would because it's so worth it. I mean, it, the best one produces 10 forge points a day. And I have the best one. I love my World's Fair. It's one of the things after I click my Blue Galaxy to collect, I do that one. But there you go. 
You see what I got? I'm going to make it level nine and that's free. I've spent no diamonds on this, any of these quests. You know, you can Google my guild when I first joined it early on in the first few months. One of the members would Google all the quests and post them in guild chat. She has since left. She started her own business, bless her heart, her and her husband. Uh, and I tried it a few times, but half the people don't pay attention to it. They're like, oh, I don't see that. How could you, It's in the guild thread. How could you not? But, you know, some people just don't even read the mail. They play differently than me. I'm not criticizing them. It's just not my way. But I do all the quests as they come. You know, you can zip through the first 20 or so on these types of things. Then you have to wait every 24 hours to get another one. So, but I've spent no diamonds, no anything on this, and I still got a level nine, which is pretty good in my opinion. So anyway, y'all have a blessed one. I'm going to go find a place to dump these 145 forge points. I'm going to find somewhere quick to dump them in a 1.9 slot. And that way, see the 1.9? I'm going to dump them somewhere in a 1.9. That way they go right back into my account when someone cashes in their great building. When they level, it'll come right back to me and go in my bank, my inventory here it'll be like bam 145 new forge points there or should i put it on my arc i'm working on my arc like i said 114 to 115 that's a high level arc i've seen them up to 180 i think is the highest i've seen in this world there's a few people with that pretty amazing arc congratulations to all you people who have high level arcs but you know mine's the highest in the guild and I'm still working. I think I'll put them all right in there. They were free forge points. Bam. Somebody's got to put them there. Might as well be me. And if I wanted to do 1.9 or above, I have 1.94 players that will do my arc for me, which saves me a few forge points. But I'll still have to put of my own forge points, 4,000 or so. We're just rounding there. 4,000 or so forge points. So might as well put them. And I just started this today, and I'm already up to 362. So, All right, y'all have a blessed one. Make sure to comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did on the event, if you did the event. You know, just let me know. And get out there and exercise and love life. Have a blessed one.